Boeing whistleblowers are turning up the heat in Senate hearings. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. This is a criminal cover-up. That's former Boeing senior manager Ed Pearson at the Senate Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations. He was speaking about the airplane manufacturer's reaction after a fuselage panel blew off of a 737 MAX Alaska Airlines flight in January. That incident sparked a wave of public scrutiny this year. But Boeing's problems go further back. In 2018 and 2019, two 737 MAX crashes killed a total of 346 people. Pearson says he warned the company about the problems that led to those crashes, but was ignored. The world is shocked to learn about Boeing's current production quality issues. I'm not surprised because nothing changed after the two crashes. There was no accountability. Not a single person from Boeing went to jail. Hundreds of people died, and there's been no justice. Boeing quality engineer Sam Salapour said the company was not properly closing gaps in the assembly of the fuselage of its 787 Dreamliner. 98.7% of the time, the gaps that they were supposed to be shimmed, they were not shimmed. He also said he believed that a nail had been put in his car's tire while he was at work. This potential retaliation raises suspicions of foul play which already surrounded the alleged suicide of another Boeing whistleblower, John Barnett, in March. In a statement Wednesday, Boeing disputed Salapore's claims and said it is fully confident in the 787 Dreamliner.